Bazite promises to be a fully featured SteamOS replacement for the Steam Deck, but here's a cool little trick. Bazite actually works on other handhelds. Other handhelds like the Lenovo Legion Go, for example, which is what we'll be demonstrating today. So while we wait for our OLED Steam Decks to come, for those of you that have Legion Go's or RG Allies, you can install Bazite on your devices. Installing Bazite on your Windows devices is very simple. First and foremost, you'll need to make an installation media. Yes, it's the same process as setting up Bazite on your own Steam Deck. I've got an entire video for installing Bazite on your Steam Deck, so watch that video first. Many of the steps you take in that video will also apply here. Booting into Bazite pulls up this menu right here. From from this point on, you need a keyboard. So believe it or not, you can actually select Bazite Deck in the future that they may have a separate version for the Legion Go. But for now, we're going to select the Deck version of Bazite, more specifically Deck Gnome. The entire installation process will be sideways on your screen, so be prepared for that. If you don't have a mouse, you can use the touchscreen instead. So go through the installation process. You'll also need to connect to Wi-Fi as well. And yes, once you've done the installation process, I will say the scale is really small and it's practically impossible to film it so if you want to learn how to go through the installation process be sure to watch that video I mentioned before. So yes, the installation process will take a while, so be sure to plug it into power while you let it do its thing. It'll prompt you to reboot. Go ahead and reboot, and then it should reboot into Bazite. Every time you reinstall Bazite, you will need to set up things through the Bazite portal. And yes, while there is an option for Bazite to update your Steam Deck, this is not a Steam Deck, so that option won't affect you in any way. You can go through all of the various options to install stuff like Decky, Emu Deck, and you know, web browsers and all that cool stuff. And you should be ready. Go ahead and go back into game mode. If you installed Deck Gnome like me, you click on the top left menu and then press return to gaming mode. So as you can see here, everything works fine as expected. Except, there are some caveats. First and foremost, the Legion button by itself does not work. And if at any point you updated the Legion Go controllers via the Legion Space software, then you won't be able to access the Steam button. The, you know, the little Steam menu that you press when you typically press like the Steam button on your Steam Deck. Additionally, Legion R doesn't actually do anything either. You know, this is kind of counterintuitive to how it should work, but full support is ultimately a work in progress. Another caveat is that in the quick access menu, you can only go up to 15 watt TDP. Yes, on Windows, the Legion Go can go beyond 15 watt TDPs, but here it doesn't seem like it's able to. Furthermore, you don't have access to resolution controls. No per game resolutions are enabled, meaning the highest games we'll ever get is 800p, you know, kind of like the Steam Deck itself. And while some games you definitely want to play at 800p, some games I want to crank up to 1600p and play. This also means you don't have access to UI scaling options for Steam UI. Of course, this means menu items are tiny as crap, and the on-screen overlay, the performance overlay, that's also tiny and extremely difficult to read. Also worth mentioning is the fact that, well, I'm not sure if this is exclusive to the GNOME version of Bazite Deck, but essentially the desktop version of Steam doesn't scale properly. Also, there's no way to click in the trackpads. You know in my Lenovo Legion Go video I mentioned that you have to like double tap to left click and then hold it in to right click? Yeah, that doesn't work on Linux. In fact, I don't think there's a way to right click at all with the trackpads. The battery indicator doesn't work either, and I asked the developers about this and they said that it might be due to the fact that the Legion Go technically has three batteries one for each controller and one for the main unit. That said, turning on the performance overlay does tell you the battery life, so I'm not sure what's up. So yes, I just mentioned a bunch of stuff that doesn't work properly, but does anything work properly on the Lenovo Legion Go? Well, yes, a lot of things actually. First and foremost, you can detach the controllers, and you can play games that way. But they sort of read as more standard Xbox controllers, so you can't like set gyro or anything on them. But what about the biggest selling point for the Legion Go? You know, FPS mode. Well, FPS mode works, 
sort of. You can move your mouse and you can left click, but you cannot right click. And due to the odd nature of FPS mode to begin with, you can't customize the controls either. So it's not like you have the ability to define your own controls per game. I will say it is an insanely complicated feature to wrap your head around. So yes, Bazite works on the Legion Go, but given the far more complex nature of this device, there are some compromises to be made. Maybe too many, depending on who you are. But the Bazite developers are always hard at work. Also, one more thing. Some people have asked me about Bazite Arm the ROG Ally. Why haven't I talked about that? Well, it's simple, really. They stopped development on it. Asus seems to have a weird history with Linux on their hardware. Unlike Lenovo, who not only supports Linux and does basically nothing to inhibit Linux support on their devices, but they also sell Linux devices as well. That's why I haven't talked about Bazite on the ROG Ally because it's a hot mess. That said, the developers recommend either Chimera OS or Nobura OS, and I haven't used either of those before, so maybe I should check them out at some point. I do want to say that this is a promising experience. No, it's not there yet, but I'm sure once they figure everything out, it'll be great. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.